In this session, we discover how to find our feed URL or feed address from a number of different sites that we may have out there in the social web. Often when you're integrating your social web accounts or you're trying to feed your blog or other RSS feeds into some applications, they're going to very specifically ask you for your blog URL or your feed URL or your feed address. Think of those things as synonymous as we as we kind of explore that here today because they are they're used often interchangeably in the social web but what we're looking for is a very specific URL that that is the feed the RSS feed for you know whatever site it is you're trying to integrate probably the most important of these is your blog feed so to find your feed URL for your blog, go to the front page of your blog, go to the home page of your blog, and if you're using the Firefox browser, you notice up here in the address bar, there's an RSS feed icon. Now whenever you see that icon, it will list, when you click on that icon, it'll list all of the RSS feeds that are available for that site. So if we click on that icon, it's going to take us to the feed of our blog. Now, very specifically, what we're looking for is our feed URL. And so that is this URL right here. So if we, if we want to uh, feed our blog into another social site, for instance, and it asks for that URL, we're going to copy that and then paste it in the application. Now you can find the same or something similar anyway in Internet Explorer where it's, the RSS icon is not up here in the address bar but it's right down here on the taskbar so if we click on that again it's going to take us to the same place that Firefox did. Now another thing I want to show you uh, specifically about WordPress is that WordPress not only creates a feed for your main blog, but it also creates a feed for each of the categories within your blog. So if you have a category name that you want to say have as a separate feed into you know any number of applications or create your own RSS feed for it, you don't have to worry about creating it on your own because it's actually already in existence. Let me show, show you an example. Here is a feed that has only the blog entries with the category name tips within this RSS feed or within this blog. And this is the feed URL that we would actually copy to feed only those blog entries into another application. Okay, so let's look at some other social sites out there and how we might find the RSS feeds or RSS feed URLs or addresses for those sites. First of all, Twitter has an RSS feed of all of your tweets. If you scroll down on your profile page, not your home page, but your profile page, you'll see a link right here. But notice also that there's a link up here in our address bar on Firefox, so we can find it either way. But when we click on it, what we're going to do is we're going to see all of our feeds. And then this address right here is the feed URL. Similarly for Flickr, if we scroll down toward the bottom, we'll see our RSS icon here. And if we click here, we'll be taken to the feed. Similarly, if we click here, we'll be taken to the feed. So once again, here is a feed with all of our latest images that we've uploaded to Flickr. And this right here is the feed URL or the feed address. Uh, let's take a look at uh, SlideShare. If I go to my public profile in SlideShare, I automatically see an RSS feed icon here, which I can click on and get a feed of all of my presentations. Here is the feed URL. Now YouTube is not as obvious. There is no RSS icon on my channel page or on my uploaded videos page so I need to almost rely on the RSS icon up here 
in Firefox to find that URL. However, this URL can be recreated if you know the username of your YouTube account. Then you could just replace it in here. For instance, your your RSS feed is going to be http colon slash slash gdata.youtube.com slash feeds slash base slash users slash your username slash uploads. So all you would have to do is replace your username in here and follow it with uploads and that is going to be the RSS feed for your uh, YouTube account. If you don't actually have a browser that will that will help you find your feed accordingly. As a last resort if you're convinced there is an RSS feed on a page and it does not show up in your browser and you can't find it anywhere else on the page then what you can do is actually view the source of the page and find the RSS feed URL or address. So in Firefox or in most of the browsers if you go up to edit I'm sorry if you go up to view page source and here is the HTML for that page so what you want to do then is click on edit find and enter RSS click next and you're probably going to find it during the very first search you're going to find a line like this that actually defines where your RSS feed is or what the URL is of the feed and so it could be it's, it's possible that there could be an error in the feed and is it showing up in your browser or or something like that so this is like a last resort way for you to actually find that URL and here it is right here the same the same one that we found for this site earlier and then you can just close that up so that concludes this session on how to kind of a, investigate how to find RSS feeds for a number of uh, social accounts, most importantly your blog. We thank you for listening today 